Today, on Life at the Dead End, Monty uses an ancient hunting technique to try and feed his family. He needs to shoot straight or perish. Scrounging around for food, shooting, threatening things that move, keeping dry under a roof, oh yeah. That's living the life at the dead end. Pretty early in the morning and my wife shook me and she said, hey, you want to get up? And I said, why? And she said, because I think you need to go to the oxbow. So I did. I haven't grabbed that bow in a long time, but it sure felt good in my hands. I know exactly why she woke me up and I'm glad she did. I was getting excited. Rain changes the land. My oxbow isn't just an oxbow anymore. now." It's part of the river. If you get the opportunity to take an opportunity, you need to take that opportunity. All I kept thinking about was how my children might not be able to eat unless I could get that arrow in the right spot. Once I got her sighted in, Yeah, oh. <laughs> when I got that fish with that first arrow, oh, I felt like a million bucks, I really did. There are some people who will never know the joy of being able to provide for your family with an arrow like I did. Sometimes I wonder what people are worried about who don't live like we do, you know? Like they're worried about what does my hair look like or, or are these glasses the right frames? Are my teeth white enough? Should I pluck my eyebrows? Does this shirt look nice with these pants? Does this plate match that cup? Harold, we might need to put an addition on. Oh no, that squirrel got run over. Gee, the lawn looks pretty long. We should mow that. And then let's cut the shrubs. I hope people come to my party. They worry about things like, what would Shelly think? I think it's about time we, we paint the bathroom again. Do these pants make me look fat? They should be worrying about how to feed their family. That's really worrying. So what does that mean when I get a fish like that? It means we get to eat another day. And that's what matters. That's the difference between life and death. It's not, it's not whether you have cool pants or a nice set of shoes. It's whether you can provide for your family. Can you do that? Because if you can, you can. That's living the life at the dead end.